Hey, 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 Uncle Mark here in the Mothership. Three string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the theme from the television series Mission Impossible. And so uh, if you haven't seen my companion video, please do. I'm also using my boss, my boss RC30 Looper. And if you haven't seen the uh, review of the this boss Looper, I, you can see that on my uh, pedals and amplifiers review playlist. So take a look at that. Also take a look at my companion video. That'll really help you navigate through this thing. It's got three, well, four basic parts. It's got an intro, the where they light the fuse, and then it's got, of course, the uh, right. So it's got that underlying theme through the whole thing, and it's got three parts to it. It's got that part. It's got that part, and then it's got that part. And once you marry all those parts together, you really have the whole thing. It's very short. So let me go through this right now, and uh, I'll show you how I navigate through, and then we'll break it all down. So here we go. short but uh, getting these parts right are very important but what do we got going on G G D G 42 34 24 those are my gauges okay uh, I'm playing also through my Roland uh, RC 30 uh, that's the boss RC 30 looper they're made by Roland I'm also playing through my Roland mini cube and I'll show you those settings at the end of this video so look for that so this song has some chords in it, and you see you saw me playing them. What you have to do is realize this song is in G, or G, but you need an F. And there are two ways to make an F chord. There's one here. How do I know that? G is open. G sharp A, B flat B, C. This B flat and C are important. Okay, that B flat and there's C there. C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G. So this song has a G, and this is the way I want you to learn how to play this. And this is a shape you're going to need to know, so we might as well get it out of the way now. It starts off with that G note, and how I found that note is I go D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp and G. And I put my first finger there, my third finger here on that D note, and my pinky on that D. You can also play it this way with these two fingers replacing these two. It's going to look like 7, 5, 7. This is a shape you really need in this song because you need to go F, F sharp, G. So if you're unfamiliar with this shape, first thing to do is find that note right there, put your first finger on it, hold it there. Take your third finger and actually move it with this hand to there, and then physically move that finger there and get that shape, and then try to be able to play it. So, right, now we got it. Now you have to be able to move around. So you have to be able to go down and down and up and up because you're going to go F, F sharp, G. And if you notice, from this shape, I can make that bar chord really easy. So this isn't quite a lesson on shapes, but I just wanted to show you that. So it's G, G, B 
flat C, G, G, F, F sharp, G, G, B flat C, G, G, F, F sharp, G. underlying theme to this. Yes, you could do this. Right? However you want to do it, that's fine. You want to be up here. I just think it's a lot of work to go back and forth. That's just me. So that's the underlying theme. The introduction. You sit on this D, and I am going to be playing this D sharp, and as I hit that note, I'm going to be pull it, hitting and pulling off. And then you slide up to the G. So. That's how it works. And then you come in when you feel like it. All right? Part number one. Okay, you're here on 15. That's a B flat to G. And then you're going to come here to D. So it's 15, 12, 12, 15, 12, 11, 15, 12, So it's a So the way I figure it is, I work from here and hop over, hop down, hop down, and then down to there and come up. And that's how I think of this. So it's a Section number two starts here on, on G. Just like the chord, we start here on G. And that's on the fifth fret of the D string. So you're starting here, right there. And that is a B flat, just like this is a B flat. Right. And you're gonna come up to, to the F. To the E, come up to the D sharp, and then D sharp to D. So it's a let's call it eight, five, ten, eight, five, nine, eight, five, eight, eight, seven. Part number three starts here as well. Okay? So there's this build up to this next section that does a. So 13, 10, 12, 11. So the two, this first one, is all by itself. It's all by itself. The next two, the two and the three, have to marry together. So they do something like so. So they work as a unit. Um, I have really had struggled with that section of this because this uh, bah, 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 is really loud and powerful. 
And so I had a lot of trouble with that. The problem you're going to find is putting this together with that loop. Because there's a special timing to it. And if you watch, I'll show you where these things start. Okay, so at the moment... on that F sharp, you have to move, okay? Your pinky is already, okay, on that string. So I just slide up. It has to occur within a certain time frame within this. So get used to the idea that you have to be on second section. have it exactly perfect when you are done and you're on the B flat C. When you're on the B flat C, when you come into that, you'll know that you've made your timing right. This took me an incredible amount of time to get the timing exactly right. So if it takes you a while, let it take a while. Um, it did take me a long time. So I just want to let you know that if you're struggling with getting the timing right, don't worry, I struggled as well. And this was a very complicated little tune for me to play. And uh, I really, really enjoy it. And it's something that I can break out at a party anytime. You know, I've got my little RC30 looper, battery powered. I've also got my Roland Cube, Mini Cube, battery powered. I can carry this anywhere. I can busk this song on the street. So it'd be very fun to play. Just wanted to let you know that. So just remember you have an intro, right? And you come up to here, to the G. Then you have your song, your bass lines. did for an ending, okay, is I took these shapes and moved them all the way up here. Because we know C and C are the same. See the dot? Dot, one, two. Dot, nut, one, two. C is C. So what I did was, is go... G sharp to G. So this looks like D, G, D. I went just like so. It's kind of a typical classic rock or a, uh, a TV show movie ending type of thing. And it's really, um, the song really does a something like that, but I just fudged through it and really it came out okay. So just letting you know you can do those kind of things. This is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really, really appreciate it. I do have a PayPal link here down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Take a look at that, please. Uh, thank you all for your donations. A buck a show is all we ask. And uh, I told you I'd show you these settings. So let me show you that real fast. Uh, these are my settings on my cube. So uh, there are my settings. I have a little